Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Tarot here. Um, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, let me know. I had this made. I thought it would be really cool. Um, it's actually the same. Uh, it's from my website. I actually, I love Ravens. Um, I just thought it was cool. I just don't know if it's over the top with my name and everything. It's got my website on there. Uh, I, I, let me know how you think it turned out. And what do you think of it? Um, I always change my tapestries, but I just really, I saw this, I wanted to, you know, get it done, and I got it done, I just got it yesterday, so I put it up. Let me know what you think. Um, with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on for Leos? What message do we have for Leos? Two more shuffles for Leo's. So the first thing I see is I see some new energy coming into you, Leos, and I feel like, um, I mean, this starts off hot and heavy. There's a lot of physical energy between you and this person. It's going to be something that is going to be impossible to ignore. Um, you know, I feel like it's very flirtatious energy, um, very spontaneous, but also it just feels real. You know, there's a realness to it. You know, we all met people that we physically are attracted to, but I feel like with this person, there's just like something different. We're not really, we're not quite sure what it is off the rip, but I feel like it's going to become more and more clear. Like I said, this starts off physical. And I feel like the more you get to know each other, you know, the more you find company in each other, You know, through, through communication, I, would, I, I feel like you start to see this things, this and things differently. Um, the hangman is, is about changing your perspective. I feel like it's, like I said, it started off physical, but I feel like the more you get to know this person and the more they get to know you, they start to realize that there's definitely something deeper between the two of you. The physical was just the beginning. You know, I, I, I feel like with that communication, I, you know, comes a lot of honesty, feeling like you can open up to each other, letting them walls down. I feel like that's not something that comes very often, someone that you feel comfortable enough to, to let those walls down. But with this person, I feel like it's almost, it's, it's almost unconsciously happening, you know, it, it, it's just happening. We're not really stopping it. You know, it becomes very clear, like I said. 
I mean, it's a physical thing that turns into a friendship that keeps getting deeper. You know, you start from just being a physical uh, connection to actually really enjoying each other, becoming friends, and then feeling this deeper and deeper connection that continues to get, you know, that continues to go have more depth to it. You know, it becomes very obvious very quickly. And, and I say that um, without hesitation. I mean, I, I feel like it quickly moves into something much more. You know, with that lover's card, like I said, it is that deep connection. Um, with this, I feel like it's the lover's card is like that firefighter. It's like when, when, some, when, when others run from it, for some reason, the two of you are running into it. You know, you feel the heat, but you still want more. You know, we have new love. So I do feel like this is going to take a very serious turn. Like I said, it starts off kind of nonchalant, kind of really light, um, you know, kind of a casual energy. And I, and I feel like it gets deep very quickly. And, and, you know, we just want to see how far this rabbit hole goes and we continue to, to, to discover each other. You know, we have new love and not only that, but I feel like this is not only is it new love, but I feel like it's a strong bond that you're sharing with this person and it only gets deeper. You know, this is with that two of cups, it's, it's that lifelong bond. You know, I feel like this person has become very passionate about you um, and very sure about that. You know, I feel like this is, they've been waiting for someone like you and I feel like you've been waiting for someone like them. And together, you know, like I said, with that knight and that king of cups, that that emotional maturity, and you know that, and then we have that king of wands, which we all know is that Leo energy, which is that passionate, you know, intimate connection. I mean, I feel like this is much deeper, and I feel like you kind of knew from the very beginning, because like I said, I feel like it just felt different. But like I said, you've both been waiting. You've both been waiting for each other. You know, you've both been waiting for someone like this. And someone like this is this person. You know, that, that ship is finally coming in. And like I said, the, I mean, this continues to get deeper. You find yourself thinking about this person. They're, they're thinking about you when you're not around. I mean, we also have the Queen of Wands, which is that badass energy. I mean, we have the Queen of Wands. We have the King of Wands. I mean, right there, that's a passionate, strong, fiery connection. You know, I, and I mean, I feel like, don't get me wrong, and I don't want to throw you through a loop here. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you. I feel like it is going to, bu you know, bubble over sometimes. You know, I do see conflict between the two of you. But I feel like it's almost like that just makes you stronger. You know, it's this person that shows up. Even when you're pissed at each other, this person that keeps showing up. And that's kind of like the telltale sign of a real fiery connection. Is the fact that even when you're pissed off at the person, you still show up for them. You know, and it's giving you the impression that this is, you know, you can trust this. You know, you're establishing this trust here with this person. Um, and even though they piss you off from time to time, they still they still make you happy. And you make them happy. And you both know exactly what you want. Like I said, we both you both been waiting for this. With that world card, it's the end of that cycle. It's the end, you know, the world card is the end of the major arcana. You know, we, we've been there, done that. We've been through the bad, the good, the bad, the ugly, and we, and we have arrived at our destination. Kind of reminds me of when your GPS says you, you've now arrived at your destination. <laughs> but that's what I see. I feel like this is taking a serious turn. Like I said, it everything is changing with this connection. And, you know, even though there is conflict, even though... You may piss each other off. You're still there for each other. You still show up. You still put in the work. Because you're both on the same page. You both are here to make it work.
And that's a true connection. A true connection isn't two people that get along perfectly all the time. I mean, that can be a connection. I'm not saying it isn't. But when you're with someone that even know the darkest days can't break you up, the darkest days can't break you down, that's when you know you're in a real connection because you have two people working toward it. You have two people showing up for each other through thick and thin. That's why when you get married, there's those vows like sickness and health. I mean, it's exactly what it is. A true relationship is two people with the same goal. You know, two people working at making it right. When it's wrong, they're fixing it. When it's right, they're enjoying it. But I think it becomes very clear how deep this connection you know, is, and the, like I said, feeling like you can be honest with this person, feeling like you can open up to this person. Like I said, th th this takes a serious turn. And even though I, I, I feel like in the beginning, you knew there was something different with this. I feel like you never truly saw how deep this was going to go. You never truly saw what was going on here. I dropped a weight on my finger the other day and my nail is continuously turning purple. Don't know why I told you that, but um, I just noticed in the camera. I mean, this is what you've been waiting for. This is what they've been waiting for. You found each other. And like I said, it takes a serious turn. A serious turn in the in, in a, the best possible direction. You know, this is someone that, even though you're gonna have your moments where you may piss each other off, they're not gonna give up on you. And I don't see you giving up on them. And that's what love is all about. You know, think about all the people that you love in your life and think about what separates them from other people. What separates them is you're willing to do what it takes for them. You know, you don't give up on the people you love. And the people you that love you don't give up on you. And that's what a true connection is. You know, we can meet people in our life that we have on the greatest days. They're there to enjoy it with us. We can meet many people like that. There's very few people that are going to show up on our bad days. And be there with us. Someone that we can, we can you know... Someone that's a shoulder to cry on. Someone that just gives us a hug when we need one. But also that person that you want to see on your best days. You know, not, it's, not, it's not so much who wants to spend your best days with you. It's who's willing to spend their best days with you. And who they want to spend their best days with. Now with this person, like I said, a lot of fiery energy. I mean, we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have Gemini and Aquarius. I mean, I am getting some Cancer, some Pisces, and Virgo as well. I like that. I do like it. There's sometimes I get reads and I just, even when I first see it, I mean, I'm while I'm shuffling, I'm getting a, I'm getting part of the message, and then I start putting it out, and the message becomes more and more clear. And sometimes I feel like people just want to shoot the messenger. <laughs> One thing of tarot is I love doing it. I absolutely love it. The, I'll tell you the, the, the honest truth, though. The one thing I don't like about doing tarot, and it's very it's a very small thing, but it is, you know, when I'm doing tarot on YouTube, the thing I don't like is I am terrible at the titles part because I don't want to mislead anybody. I don't want to clickbait anybody. But I also, I find it hard to make it catchy. You know, I want... I want people to um, see it 
and want to listen. But I don't want to be dishonest about it. I don't want to have some clickbait because I've, I've seen other videos, not necessarily tarot readers, but just videos and it says something on it and you're like, oh, cool. So you watch it and it has nothing to do with whatever the hell it said. I don't want to do that. And I find that's the hardest part about YouTube on tarot, hey, tarot on YouTube. You know, just making titles, you know, and it's, but that's either here nor there. Um, but yeah, sometimes we get bad messages and I don't like, I don't like giving bad messages, but I also am not going to hold back when I get a message. I have to give it because if I don't, I'm not saying true to it, you know, so sometimes you're not going to get what you want to, you're not. You know, I, I, I can, I try to keep myself honorable to the, to the, you know, to our intuition. You know, I, 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 I tell you what you need to hear. And sometimes it's not what you want to hear. Just like your intuition. I, I, I try to do, you know, I try to respect that as much as possible. And so when I get a good read like this, I just love that, you know, it's, it's what I do for. I want you to find the person you're meant to be with. And, you know, someday when everybody finds love and no longer need me, I'll be happy about that. You know, I'll work till I put myself out of work. <laughs> I love you all. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.